Soy, or you and Soy, they will rip it. They and another generation will rip it. They and a generation will rip it. Behind me, you can see a number of Liberian refugees with some police officers, apparently. They've been camping right in front of the UNHCR office here in cantonment. See someone pouring out her frustration. They carry our food and they take off from there. He said we should leave. He said mission is okay. Say you take off. As for me, I'm going back there because UNHCR has something for me. What exactly do you want now? Now we need resettlement. We need resettlement to, to, where? to a third country of Versailles, which of course they know is by their own law. But 1951 convention qualified this group to be resettled. And also PNDC law, section 10 of their own law. Your country is now that peaceful. Why wouldn't you consider going back to Liberia? I think, oh, listen, oh, listen, thank you very much to that effect. If you check the international community, the labor of peace is fragile, which of course the international community is aware. And now, as I'm talking to you, there are some warlords who are still in Liberia that are still hunting other people. Yeah, I am today. I'm even afraid to be on, you know, on TV, but I just have to do it because of the masses. Because my lives have been threatened. If you look on my phone right now, I've been prosecuted by so many people. And even now, I'm so afraid so to see I'm a, you know, police holding arm and ammunition, a ramp, refugees who have been traumatized. It's very much wrong in the know it. You understand? You go on Budumbra now as I speak to you. Horses are being marked. Chiefs are claiming places. We have no home there. You will have to go back to that UN office and tell that woman to find a place for us because we are not going on Bunibran camp. Or let them make their police cell here, let them make it big because we're ready to go to jail. You understand? We are not going back. Let them beat us here and kill us or do whatsoever they want to do. These you persons whom you've cleared were peacefully occupying a piece of land not far from UNHCR's office. Why, why would your men go there? with weapons to clear them off. They were not going to use these weapons. We were only there just to ensure that we talk them out of the place. They are not criminals. They are not they are not they are definitely not criminals. So why would you go there with your weapons to clear them off? We didn't I have already mentioned to you that we didn't go there with the weapons to clear them with weapons. We but are, to intimidate we, them? We no. 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 They are no more refugees. In front of the Kuwait embassy, the other adjacent streets there are littered. And if you go there in the evening, imagine there's a crime committed, a robbery, and you are chasing, and there's any exchange. These people are vulnerable. You've heard from both sides. It is not over yet. We shall keep you updated. But until then, this is Gabriel Obodai Togba Reporting.